It was in 1928 that Sir Charles Kingsford Smith took off from this field to start his epoch-making flight for Honolulu, Suva, and Brisbane, Australia. And here he is, roaring over the Oakland airport to complete the last leg of his return visit, the 2,408-mile overwater, and in this case, overnight hop from Honolulu. His arrival here is two hours ahead of schedule, so that only the early birds were on hand to welcome him and his navigator, Captain Taylor. With a sure, deft landing so characteristic of this intrepid airman, the ship is brought to earth, and a wave of a mittened hand is Kingsford Smith's welcome to America. With the glow of a good job well done, the two flyers clamor from their cockpits. Both the flyers look fresh and at ease as though they've been merely taking a joy hop across San Francisco Bay, instead of being the first men in all history ever to fly the Pacific Ocean from Australia to America. And to prove their freshness and freedom from strain, the first thought of Sir Charles and Captain Taylor is their ship, and the crowd in the hangar is treated to the sight of the two men hopping about the plane like two ordinary mechanics. With the completion of this return flight, Sir Charles Kingsford Smith became the only man ever to fly the Pacific between Australia and the United States twice, and secures even more solidly the esteem in which he is held by aviators and the world at large. Happy landings always, Sir Charles.